What we'll do now is then take a look at the replenishment plan. This is the daily exception report which shows all the items that uh, need replenishing. This can be found under the planning menu in stock management. So here's a list of everything that has a negative uh, stock quantity, i.e. it's short and needs to be replenished. We'll see up here in the very first line the product we were just looking at needs 1590 items to be replenished. The action for this item is buy which suggests it's purchased in from a supplier. However if we look at the line below we'll see that this comes from a different warehouse or a requirement for a different warehouse, warehouse 04. And rather than buying goods into warehouse 04 we are going to transfer them from warehouse 01. So the default action here is transfer. So we can create a supply chain network with main warehouses replenishing uh, sub warehouses, even replenishing van stock or managing inventory at a customer location. If we look further again at this product you can see that we can click in one click down to the planning details that we saw earlier showing the history and forecast. We can also play around with the parameters if we're not happy with the number. Um, maybe we want to reduce the order frequency here uh, to reduce the stocking quantity. We can also see the inventory flow for this item. So we can see what's predicted, uh, what sales orders are open, what purchase orders are open and also if there's any forecast um, like the September forecast when it comes into play giving us an overall end in balance on the product. To create a purchase order from this screen is very simple. We just simply tick the line that we want to create the purchase for or double click the line and actually create purchase orders for the whole list. So if we're looking this at a daily exception report we could simply just take the numbers that Vologix has given us, double click on here and select all the products. That will now enable me to create multiple purchase orders, transfer orders and production orders for manufacturing. It will create multiple purchase orders for the different suppliers listed. As you can see there's three different suppliers listed here. The other thing we can do with the replenishment plan is filter it. So we don't have to look at just one product uh, or rather we don't have to look at every product. We can filter it to look at only products from a certain supplier we could just look at it for certain planners, they may be assigned to different product groups um, or even certain warehouses. So I'm going to look at one particular supplier which is the most common we find amongst our customers. Here we're going to choose Acme Associates and we filter the list and this now shows only the exceptions for Acme so these are the products that we need to buy. If we take a look down at the bottom right here we'll see what we call the supplier minimums. Acme are offering us uh, a good price if we were to buy a thousand units in one purchase order. This can be spread across multiple items. They're also saying we'd like uh, two thousand pounds worth of uh, value in the purchase order. Again that will give you preferred terms. But one of the most frequently used uh, supplier minimum is the cube or volume. We use this to help fill a container as we select the products here the weights and measures in SAP are calculated and we can see what volume is required to deliver this particular order. Now if for example we weren't able to fill the container with all of these products we might want to top it up with some extra products. So we can show all the products purchased from this particular supplier and if we sort by the shortage ratio we can see which ones are most at risk so the top we saw before is all the shorted but this particular product here is not short it's five over in stock but it only has um, a fraction of a period of supply left so it would make sense to top up the container with this product or this product with only almost a third of a period of supply however this product here has 97 periods of supply we really wouldn't want to top that up so you can see that we can help to fill and do container planning from this screen. So if I just go back and select my uh, one product that was shorted, I'll go back to my shortages only. 
and we select that product you'll see that the shorted amount is 1590 yet the approved amount is 1600 this is because in SAP we're holding an order multiple and the order multiple is 100 we could also have minimum order quantities for these items they would also be taken into consideration when raising the purchase order once we're happy with our selection we click on submit and it will create the purchase order as you can see here.